Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat and welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be playing a bit of high explosives I'm also going to be talking about how you can possibly win this game a lot easier And I'm also going to be showing you some gameplay and some of my first experiences on this game And talking about exactly what's going to be happening in the future of Fortnite with mini games and stuff So, high explosives, what is it if you haven't played it yet? Basically, there is a grenade launcher in it, there is a rocket launcher, there are grenades There is a med kit, there are bandages and there are big potions should i say or large potions or i haven't found medium potions or the smaller potions i've only found the medium potions actually that brings something to mind large potions possibly could come into the game but anyway that's a completely different topic let's get straight onto this and show you guys exactly what's going on here so i'm diving down to pleasant park and this game mode is absolutely insane by far the rocket launcher is better than the grenade launcher however the grenade launcher is good in certain situations overall from what i've gathered from this game mode so far if you have the high ground say if you're on a hill or something you're most likely going to be well near enough invincible because no one can snipe you or shoot you down unless they get a really good grenade launcher they're probably not going to be able to hit you with the rocket launchers so i've noticed from myself playing this game a lot and experience getting the high ground maybe one of the mountains around pleasant park or in general just not dropping at a high populated area due to the weapons dropping absolutely everywhere as long as you get a rocket you're basically set to go and you just can't die <laughs> my voice is going all over the place because in this gameplay i was absolutely excited as crazy so this game mode is probably one of the funniest game modes I've ever played. It's not easy at all to win from what I've gathered. Yes, I've been playing it on my own, so I suppose that might be why. But if you play it as a squad, you've got more of a chance of winning because it's technically 4v however many people you come against, as long as you stay quite close together. I wouldn't stay too close together because it is explosives, and I'm pretty sure you can injure your team. But it is an awesome game mode, and it is something that I do recommend playing for anyone who hasn't already played this. I think it's going to be really cool, and I think it's something that possibly will keep returning in the future. It definitely is an awesome game mode. Uh, you definitely need a bunch of materials on it and stuff so i think it's one of them game modes that anybody could play really and it's something that you know it's quite fun you've just got to make sure like these grenades and stuff they bounce everywhere and i'm trying to get the weapons off these guys because i really wanted a rocket launcher at this stage so i'm thinking to myself we need to take these guys out so i'm trying to pop a few grenades this grenade here i thought it was probably going to kill me but i just got out the radius of it by the looks of it and i managed to survive from that explosive damage there so Awesome gameplay and awesome game mode. This is definitely my favorite game mode so far. I think it's better than 50v50, but 50v50 could be a lot better in general. It could definitely be improved, maybe have two battle buses, and there's some other ideas I've got for that as well. But 50v50 is an awesome game mode as well. They're all just different, and then I've heard about the suppress game mode coming out very soon. You guys have probably heard about that too. That's a brand new game mode going to be coming out where it suppresses only and bushes and stuff. So that's going to be really cool. Everyone's going to be bushes most likely. It's going to be a crazy game mode with suppressors only. So that's with the new suppressive uh, pistol with a suppressor on, should I say. That's going to be really awesome as well. So in this gameplay here, I absolutely wreck people in Pleasant Park. A good tactic that a lot of people have been doing, and I've done this myself, is lining up your rockets in your inventory. If you get more than one rocket launcher, line them up in your inventory so you have several rocket launchers. Maybe so you've got like three or about three usually three or four or you could get all five you could possibly do that and you can just switch between them and you don't have to reload it's a lot easier than firing one rocket reloading one rocket reloading but if you've only got one rocket launcher i suppose that's all you can do one rocket reload one rocket reload so and suppose that's all you can do if you have to keep building the height as well the height is very key on this making sure you above the enemy player when you're trying to kill someone with a rocket launcher and they've got a rocket launcher too the height advantage is so useful it's absolutely crazy you're always going to require height because it just gives you the ability to get the downward shot to get that angle a perfect angle to get them that's why i always jump and shoot with my rocket to get that angle now here i actually run out of rockets so i just sprayed grenade launches grenade launches are just as good as rockets in close combat really because they they cause the other person to be very panicky i personally get quite panicky when someone shoots grenade launches at me so overall grenade launches are quite good in this sort of situation but rockets by far are much better it's kind of like a 1v1 situation personally i've not had any clutches at winning the game yet but i have had some amazing clutches with kills and stuff like then i've i've been able to kill a bunch of people on this and i've got maybe like seven or eight kills in a row and stuff but i think trying to get a pull a win on this game mode is not as easy as you think you can get some crazy kills and stuff but you can also bump into a lot of easy death moments and stuff like that which easily happen on this game mode unfortunately so i definitely think it is worth testing out seeing what you think of the game mode trying out the rpg and stuff there are a lot of situations where you can struggle and stuff like here i'm fighting someone on the hill i've also got someone shooting down from up there it's just really crazy and you kind of have to predict where someone's 
was going to go with the rocket due to the flow, the, the the slow flying time of the rocket launchers. So you've got to predict where someone's going to go, where the next move's going to be, and get it right. Because if you don't get it right, you can easily get killed. So I'm just trying to do that here, trying to predict where the person's going to go, but I'm struggling quite badly. Again, it is a slow movement, so you can just move out the way, really. And that's when grenade launchers do come in like handy. Grenade launchers don't have that kind of... Well, they do have the slow movement, but because of the bounciness, you don't really know where they're going to go. So... Grenade launchers are very inaccurate, really, because of the bounciness, but you've got more chance of kind of getting a hit on them if you're using grenade launchers. So here you can just see me switching between all my grenade launchers, absolutely suppressing the guy with grenade launchers, and hopeful, hopefully one of the bounces managed to kill him, but they don't, unfortunately. So that was really unfortunate. And then just keep building and stuff. You've got to just keep the high ground. Now, in this gameplay, I actually do get killed, unfortunately, just from behind. I took out a bunch of enemies. I just couldn't take anyone else on. And to be honest, a guy just came up behind me and got me. So nice little jump shot in there. He thought he got the kill. And then I just go down to get the loot and stuff, and I just get killed from behind. So things like that do happen on this game, and you do get it. On this game mode, I'm desperate to play it with squads. So as soon as I've got some free time, I will definitely be playing this with some squads. If you guys want to get involved in that, just keep in the comment section. Maybe go on my Twitter or something. I might tweet out. I think I'll probably tweet out to get some subscribers to play on squads on this. So if you're interested in joining me on that, stick to my Twitter at PostBots Part, and I'll get some subscribers in, and we'll play a little bit of squads on explosive or high explosives. Because I think it's going to be pretty cool. And I do really enjoy high explosives. So that's really it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you want to join, get involved with it with me, you can do that. I'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay. I've got some more gameplay on here right now. This is some awesome gameplay, which I hit on this, which you can watch as well. So enjoy the gameplay. And once again, this is Postbots Part, signing out.